Venom 2 scores huge at the box office. Movies are coming back, guys. Movies are coming back. Now, I know when it comes to the how people felt about Venom 2, you guys saw my my uh, reviews and I wasn't, you know, I, I liked it, but I didn't hate, you know, I didn't hate it, but there was issues I had with it because it, it seemed like, you know, again, studio fuckery, they chopped it all up and everything. So and you could just tell, and there was just, it felt like there could have been more to it, but at the same time, there's a lot that I do like about it, but that didn't matter. What mattered is it pulled people out of their houses and they went to the movies to watch this movie. But I do hate the fact that people are like, eh, yeah, and then fucking the Suicide Squad, right? I swear to God, the people who hate the Suicide Squad talk about it more than the people who liked it. I, I, it's just like something I've noticed. I'm like, you guys talk about the Suicide Squad every, almost like every day because you hate it? Talk about things you like, please. Let's talk about things. I don't get that whole thing. And I get it. They're like, fuck you, Warner Brothers. But at the same time, they're like, fuck you, Warner Brothers. But hey, restore the, the, the universe I'd like. Restore it, please. 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 And release the air cut, too, while you're at it. I don't know. The logic, I don't understand. I don't understand it. But I, I'm like, if you don't like something, don't fucking talk about it. Talk about the stuff you like. It's weird. Okay? And a lot of people did like Venom, too. Like, let there be carnage. You know? A lot of people did like it. I was, like I said, it was okay in my, in my eyes. But the fact of the matter is, it had the biggest pandemic box office opening. So that's, what, that's what's good about it right there. So look at that. $90 million. $90 million domestically, worldwide, 103.8. Not too shabby at all. So then, yes, there'll definitely be another one. I'm just like, can you just not, I don't know. Can you just not like chop it up so much? I mean, I get it. It has to be quick and fast and let's go. But man, it just seems like there's just missed opportunities when it comes to Cletus and everything. So that was just my whole gripe about it. But that's not too shabby right there. See, I know there's a, there's a, there's a big time, there's a big time, uh, there's a big time, uh, discourse when it comes to how you felt about i've seen both and i'm seeing it in the chat right in in the uh in the chat right now i get it i get it like i said i mean i i'm one of those people that always can find the good but then i'm like i will will complain about the bad and there was some a lot of there was some bad in this i mean even like shriek was like not that great either jesus christ but it's fine long as it's getting people back out to the movies i am all for it I am glad to see that. Adam's Family too, not too shabby. Also did, you know, somewhat decent, 17 million. It's an animated flick, so why not? Uh, the Many Saints of, uh, of Newark, not so great. <laughs> Apparently, okay, so this is what was kind of stupid about this mo- about this release is uh, The Sopranos was a, uh, a a television series. So why the fuck are you going to make a movie? Just, just, this was meant for streaming and hopefully, I don't know what the numbers are. I think I saw Samba TV said it got 1 million viewers. I don't know. I think maybe people were just kind of over Sopranos. It's like, hey, it ended, whatever. But yeah, it didn't really, not a, not a big turnout. I never got into Sopranos, so I didn't watch this movie. You know, I just never really got into the, the show. So, Yeah. And, uh, but it's just weird. Yeah. Nobody just really wanted to. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe a lot of people did watch it on HBO or some kind of streaming because that's the way they watched the Soprano series was watching it on HBO or some kind of streaming service. It wasn't, you know, it's not a fucking movie. It's not a movie, but Hey, what can he do? I don't know. I'm not trying to disrespect. Don't worry. Not trying to disrespect the Soprano series. It was an iconic series. That's what I hear. And eventually I'll probably get around to watching it. But I'm just saying, again, Warner Brothers is not doing a good job with marketing their shit and realizing where to put it. I mean, now we're like realizing we're we're now coming to terms of like now that people are actually going back to the movie theaters, it's like, man, Warner Brothers is struggling when it comes to getting their stuff out there. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Tim Dillon had a pretty good bit about how, uh, you know, actors like sons sons of actors that are now in movies. He had like a really good bit about it on his podcast. It was pretty funny. 
But anyways, the good thing is, is Venom, Let There Be Carnage, regardless how you feel about it, it struck some gold on the box office. So that's good. That's what we could take away from this whole thing. That's what I'm taking away from this whole thing. 